standing nine stories high, the Big Lots Behavioral Health Pavilion is America's largest center dedicated exclusively to child and adolescent behavioral health on a pediatric campus. Placing the pavilion centrally on our downtown campus speaks to Nationwide Children's commitment to connecting mental and physical health, viewing them as equally important. The 386,000 square foot pavilion prioritizes patient safety in a colorful, friendly environment for those dealing with behavioral health concerns. It uniquely integrates acute behavioral health services with intensive outpatient programs. It's a look and feel mirrors that of the main hospital, offering hope, optimism, and ensuring a consistent experience for patients across their care journey. And the need for this facility has never been greater. The Psychiatric Crisis Department is the cornerstone of the pavilion. Featuring 24-7 psychiatric crisis care, it's like an emergency room, but for children experiencing a mental or behavioral health crisis. Every feature is specifically designed to help kids in a crisis. Each piece of furniture was selected with the patient's comfort and safety in mind and was tested by children, patient families, and staff. The Psychiatric Crisis Department includes nine consult rooms, allowing for more time for patients and their families to meet with their provider and offering a more conducive space than a typical emergency room. Rooms were designed to feel like a living room with calming colors and comfortable furniture. This provides a relaxing environment for patients to talk with providers about their mental health. After these conversations, the care team will determine the next level of care needed. The 10-bed extended observation suite is a unique, innovative feature of the pavilion. It allows our care team to observe the patient for a longer period of time, so they're making the best treatment recommendation. From here, a patient may be referred to the most appropriate level of care. The goal of this space is to try to prevent unnecessary inpatient admissions if possible. Youth with mental or behavioral health conditions can also have medical illnesses that require attention and treatment. The Psychiatric Crisis Department has three medical treatment rooms that are equipped for the assessment and treatment of medical conditions. Research shows that getting care right away after a crisis can help prevent another crisis, even if things already seem better. The Critical Assessment and Treatment Clinic is located on the first floor. The clinic provides care rapidly for urgent referrals from the Psychiatric Crisis Department or Behavioral Health Central Intake. It also can provide bridging treatment after discharge from one of the inpatient units until youth link with ongoing outpatient services. Research proves quiet reflection reduces stress and anxiety. That's why at the Big Lots Behavioral Health Pavilion, it was important to provide a sanctuary for our patients and families to reflect and find peace. Decades of research into pediatric illnesses such as prematurity and leukemia have shown us that science has the power to truly transform lives. Now is the time for behavioral health research to make the same kind of impact. The second floor of the Big Lots Behavioral Health Pavilion is home to the Center for Suicide Prevention and Research. The pavilion allows us to expand our research mission to continue to break stigmas. As part of the pavilion, researchers can study patients and move their findings from the lab to the bedside faster and easier. And anything we learn, we share for the good of children everywhere. The second floor also houses several outpatient programs, including the Mood and Anxiety Program with its Intensive Outpatient Program, the Family-Based Intensive Treatment Team, and an Outpatient Psychiatry Clinic. The goal is to help patients and their families stay safe at home and in the community. The Youth Crisis Stabilization Unit, or the YCSU, offers brief intensive crisis therapy. Treatment is provided by a multidisciplinary behavioral health team consisting of psychiatrists, master's level clinicians, nursing staff, parent support specialists, care coordinators, and therapeutic recreation specialists. The length of stay on the YCSU is on average between three to four days. The primary goals of the YCSU are help the child and family understand what led to the crisis, teach interventions that can be successful in reducing future crises, 
and link the child and family to appropriate levels of care after discharge. Parents or guardians actively participate in treatment throughout the hospitalization to help effectively manage the youth's presenting crisis. The Partial Hospitalization Program helps youth who need more intensive treatment than outpatient services, but do not require inpatient psychiatric hospitalization. This service may also benefit youth who need care in a highly supportive day treatment environment while living at home. It can be used as a step down from an inpatient unit or can be a step up to more intensive treatment when outpatient services are not sufficient. The Ronald McDonald Family Room is a respite for families with children receiving care. The room is a relaxed space for families to grab a snack or drink, take a shower, do a load of laundry, or just take a quick break, all just steps away from their child receiving inpatient care. One of the most unique features of the Big Lots Behavioral Health Pavilion, the courtyards. Here, nature and the outdoors play an important part of the healing process. The courtyards allow patients and staff to soak up sunshine and get fresh air. There is a courtyard for our patients in the partial hospitalization program and a separate one for staff. Head up to the seventh and eighth floors of the Big Lots Behavioral Health Pavilion and you'll find our inpatient psychiatry suites. These units provide the highest level of mental health care available. The inpatient psychiatric unit provides intensive assessment and treatment for youth and adolescents. The unit offers psychiatric medical services and brief intensive therapy for children and families. One unit is specifically dedicated for youth with neurobehavioral conditions who require more specialized care. The goals for the unit are to provide family-centered care and crisis stabilization, as well as appropriate linkage to ongoing services that meet the needs of the youth and the family. Family lounges like this one on the seventh floor can be found throughout the building and are designed for patient families to relax. Each inpatient unit follows a community model. In the multi-use group space, patients eat, play, and participate in group activities. This space includes a family room area and a screened-in porch because we know fresh air is crucial for maintaining mental well-being. Classrooms allow patients to keep up with schoolwork. There is room for individual and group study. Therapy rooms are a place for support and interaction with others. At night, patients stay in their neighborhood. The neighborhood is similar to a dorm. They have their own living room featuring soft wood tones and comfortable furniture where patients can hang out. The nook, which is here, is just next to the living room. It offers a quieter space for patients to decompress. Nooks are located throughout the inpatient units. The pavilion is the only facility dedicated to mental health using wood accents. Wood is a warm, neutral material that creates a welcoming and stigma-breaking environment. You'll find it all throughout the building. We also designed and created comfort rooms. They're found throughout the pavilion and provide a safe and effective way for patients to self-calm. This is a quiet alcove, which offers a peaceful place for patients to relax. When it comes to patient comfort and safety at the Big Lots Behavioral Health Pavilion, no detail is too big or too small. Comfort was also key. Beds are in an L shape because trauma-informed care suggests that patients like to occupy the corner of the room because it provides them a safe nest. Eight different bathroom door designs for the inpatient unit were tested until we found one that provides the right combination of privacy and safety. The door is made of foam and attaches with a strong magnet so it can be removed. Each room also has customizable color-changing lighting. Because we know physical activity is crucial for maintaining mental well-being, the Big Lots Behavioral Health Pavilion boasts a rooftop play deck and a 3,000 square foot gym for patients to run and play. The lower level of the Big Lots Behavioral Health Pavilion features a full cafeteria, gift shop, and conference rooms. Conference rooms allow for expanded education and training for the next generation of mental health providers and for hosting community events. The Big Lots Behavioral Health Pavilion would not have been possible without community support and, of course, the amazing Big Lots team. Our services are named in honor of a transformational $50 million gift from Big Lots and the Big Lots Foundation. 
It's one of the largest corporate donations ever specifically devoted to a pediatric and adolescent behavioral health program. The pavilion is a key component to our ambitious plan to substantially improve access to high quality behavioral health services. Together, we will transform children's mental health.